What's going on guys? Today on I Don't Know What The F*** I'm Doing On YouTube, we're gonna talk to you about the importance of needing to water your engine and make sure it gets the right nutrients that it needs. A dirty engine leads to a lot of other problems. You need to just clean it up. Don't forget inside of the head. Yeah, make sure all those ports are nicely clean. Next, how to feed your differentials. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Today we're gonna do the actual teardown of the motor. So we're gonna get that all figured out. I'm gonna find out point of failure. Uh, I'll probably do one side, then kind of time lapse the other side, just so it's not like a 40 minute long plus video. So we're gonna get on doing that. Um, I'm gonna set everything up. And I, yeah, this is episode two, episode three. Episode four, I don't know. It's starting to be like Star Wars right now. But uh, yeah, let's just get to it. Yeah. Like, oh God, episode one, two, and three suck. Uh oh. Don't know if want to time lapse. Woo! You haven't taken these off before. Oh, you got them all off? Yeah. Ah, uh, you're probably gonna have to pry it. Yay. Uh, one more? That looks good. Yeah. Go. Yeah, that's a whole lot of everything in there. Oh, is it your bucket? Oh my God. <laughs> This thing has so much metal. Well, no, right now. I'm like this thing just detonated and I'm surprised it was even running. This is one of the worst I've seen. So we got like huge metal flakes. Like that's fat. All right, guys. We got a cylinder one, two, three, four. Uh, Tanner was the winner. It's not supposed to do that. Cool. You can drill it out. Yeah. All right. Uh, I just want to pause and touch base on this, kind of what what else happened so far. Um, I had to drill this out. It just was not coming out. It just rounded. So sometimes you run into stuff like that. It wasn't too bad. It just took a lot of time. But that's out of there. Luckily, the uh, actual piece that goes in here that was left of the bolt came out fine so didn't run into any issues there this motor is totally blown up like really blown up never done this before. I, I, i'm running into we're both running into issues right now this is great so friendship at its finest when you can hang out with a friend and both be just frustrated with whatever you're working on So I got everything torn off the head. Uh, cams and, and all that are out. Uh, just checking for scoring. Things look really good for how messed up the bottom end is. Uh, we definitely have some scoring right here. Um, can feel it with a fingernail. Uh, it doesn't look like anything that can't be cleaned up. It's not like heavy, heavy scoring. 
um, they can definitely touch on that. So this one looks good. I already checked out the cams. Uh, cams, the journals on the cams look fine. Um, so I think we dodged a bullet at least on this head. Uh, I just got to get the rest of the head off and then we'll flip it. Just check out the other side and then I'll check the actual short block, which we know is a total loss. But uh, yeah, it's always fun to check. Just block these out. There we go. He's my big boy. And now whack it with a hammer. Holy shit. That looks like shit. Woo. They're pretty good. Got a waterfall going on over there, but you can't see that. Well, I'll flip it over, work on the other side. And then we should be good to get this thing off the stand. So if you've never taken a EJ apart before, there's good ways to organize things. EJs are easy because you have the cam caps and everything kind of connected up front. Um, for some of the cars where they just have a valve cover that goes over, you gotta make sure you like memorize exactly where each one of these cam caps goes and the direction it faces. These ones are easy because they're just printed on there that it's uh, an intake or an exhaust, cylinder three, cylinder three. So you can't really screw that up. It's got an arrow there. Um, you just always want to make sure each one of these go the right way because they've all worn in a certain way uh, to, to the motor on how it's worked. But uh, depending on what I reuse, we'll see what, what becomes all this. But yeah, it's pretty simple. You want to keep hardware kind of where it's at. I mean, that's can be a little nitpicky, but best idea just to put everything back if you are putting it back together put it back where you got it um, that way all the tolerances and everything are the same I'm probably gonna start time lapsing because I just want to kind of blast through this one and get to a point where I can examine and see how these ones look and that way if I see something that looks like crap and I know I'm screwed you guys don't hear me cussing and throwing stuff so yeah let's do that I got this one off. That looks good. Um, we got a little bit, just a tiny bit of scoring. I can't even feel it with my finger. Um, so that should probably just kind of scotch right out. If you remember, three was the three was the bad one. Uh, so three was the cylinder that had no bearing left. Um, I've got, I mean, not that moderate of scoring right there. But on this other side, there's a decent amount. I can kind of feel it. Um, for cylinder three, this is, this one looks like shit. So, I mean, I, I can definitely feel that. I don't know if I can clean that up. Definitely can catch my finger on it. So that's a, that's a problem. Uh, I can try and clean it up and just see how it gets. I mean, We'll see, it would really suck to have to buy a head. My game plan for this at this point is um, try and reuse the heads. Obviously get a new short block. I'm probably gonna just go with a Type RA short block. Anything that's oil controlled on these is getting replaced, like oil control valves, my cam sprockets, the ABCS, uh, just just anything, banjo bolts. It's, it's gonna get a new turbo at this point. I just don't know what. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a project. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this motor. Obviously the short block is getting thrown out. I can probably clean up the heads. I gotta figure out what I'm going to do with anything else. So I got a lot of thinking to do, but for now that's all I got for you. I'll see you guys in the next one and have a good one. People have spoken, they don't like my channel, Tanner. They say my channel sucks. Yeah, multiple people have sent me death threats. What are all the keywords I'm supposed to touch on? They've sent me death threats. Say my channel sucks. Nobody watches it. I don't watch you. I can see you in the garage. I know. That's what I'm saying. Right. That's why I don't watch you. Right. Why would I watch you? I can already see you in the garage. You don't watch my fucking videos? No. I just like them all. Is that good enough? Is that good enough? How are you ever going to know when there's new stuff coming to the channel?
because it notifies me because I rang the bell. Yeah. Yeah, so now I get notified every time my roommate posts something new up. Even though I already know because I'm right there with you when you post it. What are you doing now? What am I doing right now? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. If you don't watch the channel.